I'm looking at, am I a chess closer? Do I close out the games? Or do the games close me out? Just messing with my screen there. Right size. I think it's got a bit of edging on there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so being a chess closer. I don't want to revert back to how I was, which was nice and aggressive, which was good. But I want to have a good mix of the all-roundness of being a chess closer rather than a little bit of a fancy dancer. Not that I am, but, you know, let's get the differentiation so that I scare myself into being a closer. Okay, so let's take this off the board. Not fearful of them having this here. We do have double pawns here. Let's look on the negatives. Would be nice to get the queen here. So if we do get this knight moved, taking this pawn, should be able to squeeze the king in here. To close the game out. Bit of tempo win. Bishop has to move. And get the check on the king. I think that's a lot of pressure for them to deal with here. Where does the king go? It's going to be checkmate. As we speak about being the closer, wouldn't it be lovely if all the games happened like this, where you just speak about it and then the actual thing happens? Amazing. Oh, he's escaping. So it's not over. I'm monologuing for no reason. Right, so if the knight comes here, then he's he hasn't got anywhere to go. Oh, he's going to be going. Yeah, but then we get the mate, don't we? So put the check on. And I think that's got to be it because he's not escaping here, not escaping there. So he's going to have to go here and it's definitely made at this point. So I can start monologuing now. Ouch. Ouch. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't know. If, yeah, never mind. Never mind. If that's for a rematch, I don't usually do rematches, right? But I'm going to give this player the opportunity because that was a little bit quick. So can we close? I'm only playing it again because I want them to redeem themselves, I'm not playing them again so that we can do the same thing to them again. I believe they got caught short there. So let's just bring the knight out here. And it's not quick and dirty tactics we're looking for. If it's available and it's nailed on, we'll focus on it and we'll go for it. All right, so bring the knight out here. I'm losing my voice. Play too many. So even though we're talking about all these concepts, it's early queen moves. Hmm. Got two on one there, but the knight's going to be attacking the pawn first. Please don't take with the queen. Okay, there we go. We could dance around attacking the queen. I don't really want to do that. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to refrain from it. If they want to keep moving their queen about, so be it. Let's just see if we can get some pieces out. Because closing to me isn't about the quick and dirty, but is if it is available, we go for it. What I'm trying to envisage is, can I close the game out from opening, mid, end game? Need to get that practice in there. Let's bring the bishop here. So they're playing slightly better, even though they're kind of messing about with the queen early on. So there's no clear ways in. I could have been tantalizing attacks on the queen, but I'm not doing that. Let's just castle, king safety. It's a lot of queen moves by this player. All the minor pieces aren't out yet. But that doesn't mean anything. Just using that psychology. Could have taken this pawn. I'm wanting to close the game out, playing nice save game, not overextending. I'm going to hit the pawn, although bishop's going to be taking, knight's going to be... All sorts of things are going to kick off. We might not be even able to prevent it, but let's go here. They are starting to flicker a little bit, but I'm not concerned about that. It's a rematch. They 
got to try and redeem themselves. It does take, I didn't think they were going to, but we'll take. So this is a nice steady development. What can I see? I can see they're not developed here. This bishop's not really developed. Now they're going searching for some sort of gold. I do hate it when they're flicking right in front of my face. I'm going to attack the bishop, see what he wants to do. We're looking to get this off here, but no big issues at the minute. So we've not established any major attacks in any way or shape. Going into a big think. Why the big think? Okay. You know, big think for all of that and okay. So we'll take here, attacking the king and the rook. They did come back a bit better, but now they've jumped back into how they were playing at the first game. Bit blunderous there. I'm gonna take and might as well just resign the fact that the knight is going. And let's support this pawn. What do we want to do? We need to get a nice position with the queen, don't we? Maybe get this bishop off the bat, but there's nothing for it to do at this moment, really, is there? Could now attack this pawn, I think. Yeah, let's do that. It does open up the white square bishop as well. So all they're doing is looking to get the knight off the board. So they're focused so much on that. We may as well hit their bishop. All right. And anything else? We can't save the knight. Just thinking if there was an opportunity, we could go for it. Could double the pawns. Yeah, that would be annoying, wouldn't it? Might as well double the pawns for them. So it's gone out in a blaze of glory. Excellent. Okay. Right. So what do we have? Have the bishop. Bishop. It's such a bad bishop, isn't it? Look, it's, we may as well just stick it here, supporting this pawn. Their king is yet to go and get queenside castle. It's in the head of the snake. The head of the snakes always get hit. May as well take it off the board. Free up some space. Bishop's got this. Start pushing this pawn. Towards their king area. Obviously it's not going to make it there because this pawn is blocking it. we we'll push this pawn up now to start hitting the knight. Bishop's doing a lot of dancing. Again, let's, um, let's hit this knight. Maybe affords us this, but the queen is attacking the pawn. So what do we have on the other side of the board? We do have a check on the king, just to let them know we're in the game. Can we develop the queen up a bit, maybe? Maybe go onto the white square, attacking the bishop. Go on to the white square, maybe we can attack the bishop. Queen's getting activated, so let's attack the bishop anyway. Let's probably see what we're going to do, and it's just supporting. Or is it something else? It's only plus three, so they've lasted a lot longer than the first game, which is um, good. Slight blunder in the rook side, but just because we're up the exchange, 
and plus three in a sense doesn't mean we've won the game because they're still playing and we have to find appropriate positions for our pieces. So never underestimate the opponent's position, their gameplay. It might be their character playing crazily. So you still have to try and tr play basic chess or chess that you understand. I did think they were going to do that. We can just take back in the bishop. So it was our bad bishop, wasn't it? It was stuck behind all these um, white pawns. We may as well try and get rid of it. And it's done its job. It's helped the team. Queen could come and support the pawn, or the rook could go opposite the queen. I think the rook going opposite the queen is more scary. We'll bring the rook here. Got two on one at the minute. If we bring this rook here, we'll have three on one on this pawn. We are supporting this pawn, but nothing's attacking it at the moment. So this whole exercise is about closing the deal and seeing if we can finish appropriately. We'll have this as well, attacking the queen. Let's take attacking the queen this way. And then there's discovery checks on the king throughout the next exchanges. Let's take, so take one with the check on the king. When you look at it, it doesn't look as bad as what it was. Because really, I mean, he's got a knight and a rook. I suppose we've got more pawns, but it doesn't look as crazily bad. On, on viewing. Um, looking to double the rooks, maybe. Attacking the king. King comes down for the pawn. We take this pawn here type situation. I think we'll potentially just go for that. Rook by itself is not going to do much damage there. So we'll attack the king. Options of this pawn or this pawn. Which way are we going? This has got more pawns for us if we take here. These are doubled at the minute, so we don't need to worry too much about them. And does he block us though? That's the thing. Knight can block. If he does block, we, oh, we can't even go here because the knight will be protecting. That's something to think about, you know? I think we're taking this side. Now that we've seen the knight can block here. King takes, doesn't take, bring the rook supporting, yeah, so no point in bringing the rook here because the knight's going to stay there forever. So if we attack the knight, then he has to do something which is obviously coming here. Then we can bring our rook here. Okay, let's attack the rook, knight, sorry, why do I keep, attack with the rook on the knight. Takes, nope, like we said, just come here now. So it feels like we're closing it nice and steadily. But like I said, it doesn't look as bad as the material count sounds. Put the check on. So now we're up more material now from that and we can put a check on the king he comes a bit closer down got to be mindful but i don't think then his rook comes here and then puts a kibosh on but we can move the king across here but really want to get involved in any of that stuff so do we just come down and put a check on the king here and put a check on the king here taking a pawn and he comes across. 
would be nice to go straight there, but obviously that's not happening. So I'll bring this rook here, back in the pawn. He's probably coming across to attack the rook. Not doing that, it's coming down for our king, so we'll put a check on the king. King we'll just moves down again. Getting these this pawn here. Don't want to be doing too much dancing, but it looks like we're gonna be taking this one. And then taking this one. We might be in time to protect the pawn when the rook comes across. Okay. That's still still going in, but we think we've got pawn. Yeah, there we go. That was the one in the middle one. Might resign at this point. No, maybe not. And let's put the check on and start pushing the pawns up now. Push. Push. Well, it's a bit unlucky, but they're showing the heart, the heart of a lion here, just continuing to play. But yeah, we took the rematch thinking they may have just, you know, been caught short in that game. Uh, I'm just going to go for the trade now and see what happens. And just take. Just block the king now. Push. 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 No stalemates, he can move here. Are you a chess closer? In most situations, I suppose, yes, I'm a chess closer. You understand the principles. It's hard pressed to keep doing it all the time. Yeah, where you're blundering and you wonder why you blundered. Why did you make that move? And all those questions cause you to doubt yourself as to whether or not you can close the game. Yes, you might be a nice little prancy player might being able to move the pieces around and look good but are you actually finishing the game properly so I'll try and not blunder try and focus on the purpose of each of the pieces that we've been talking about what is the purpose of each piece the calculation does it really enhance the purpose of each piece is the piece saying no that's a blunderous move can we reduce the blunders so in, in each of the recent sessions that we've looked at we're trying to pinpoint what creates a good closing mentality good closing conceptual ideas and really it's about getting those fine-tuned within the calculation before you make your move the move orders all of those things underneath the answer process all of those things that we've got within the mantra it's really about at the end of the day before you make that move is the purpose of that move really viable is it does it form part of the proper calculation is the move order correct do you feel the purpose of that piece is actually being utilized to its fullest extent? Have you done a proper calculation to involve the piece properly before you even think about making the move? Or is there the slightest chance that that could be a blunderous move? We've got a big thinker here. So this is going to be a very long game. So it's a 10 minute zero increment so there's no increment on it i've got to remember that it's not like a 15 minute 10 second game 
So either this person's like a, mind you, they've got plenty of time yet. It's not in the blitz regions or anything like that. And their stick signal's still on, so they must be extremely good. So yeah, this is the last one in the Are You A Closer section, which closes off the recent series of the purpose, reducing the blunders, and finally, are you a chess closer? So these, those three little areas of work, methodologies, psychology, whichever way you want to look at it, make a nice little package to, to give a bit of focus on how we want to move on with our own performance. So they've made a move. Okay, so next moves are just gonna be done really quickly, aren't they? I'm gonna bring the bishop out, attacking the knight. Because in my terms, it is the bad bishop, it's the king's side bishop. If it can take a piece off the board, then let so be it. It's done its job. Yeah, so the piece is gonna be moving fast now. So I'm not laying out much hope on this, so let's, shall we actually attack this pawn and see what's happening. It's got a 2 on 1 on this pawn here when he takes with the knight and the queen. So we've seen that before. Maybe we can work it. Uh, they're not doing that just yet. Let's take the pawn. Don't need to really hesitate on that. Bishop takes. Queen takes, Queen's going to be 2 on 1 in, but we're going to have 2 on 1 protection. It's not doing that, it's doing a lot of fancy dancing in my eyes, but it's got a 2 on 1 here, the Knight can't defend. Bring the Bishop here, and still the Knight can't defend, the Bishop can take, but the Queen will take anyway. But we could hit the Bishop anyway and just see what's going on. So this type of thing is like the move order thing that we're talking about in terms of the purpose of the pieces. Trying to reduce the blunders as best possible. The knight's going to take and it's going to be on the queen. Just be mindful. Yep, so we could go here with the queen attacking the knight. Could bring the knight queen back again. I think we're just going to bring the queen back again. Yep, just to here. This knight's looking to be tasty here. Castle, yeah, I did think they were going to start moving dead quickly, you know, after that long break, surprisingly enough. It's got this here, so again, if we're attacking here, the queen's coming straight here, putting a check on the king. Kind of blocked that off anyway, so I'm going to attack it anyway. I'm going to take with the bishop. So now they've got an open space in front of the king that'll be their focal point now as the answer to chess. Hopefully they'll forget themselves and we get the knight for free. Nope, we're not getting it for free. If only we had something supporting the bishop, we would have been able to get the rook. But a lot of if, buts and maybes in this game. So let's just maybe keep the bishop here as a ninja bishop although it is quite nice uh, it's quite nice stopping that let's just bring the bishop here don't overthink the thing and maybe now trying to look to actually attack the rook because the king in essence is home alone so in the back of my head i'm thinking can we get pieces working towards there but we're going to go for Fianchetto and mess up my pawn structure here. That'll be the next move. Oh, it's not. But it is a focal point on attacking the king area. But also, I think they're trying to do this business here. I'm going to hit the rook. So it's even Stevens materially. They've got 
I would probably say it looks like a better position because they've got this open file here attacking our king area, which they're exploiting. But the queen is defending at the minute. And we can just attack the um, queen as well now. I think that's probably what we're going to do, but we're going to put a check on the king first. Although, shall we just hang fire with that and see where they go? I don't think there's a checkmate, is there? Just attack because the rook is supporting the bishop. I'm not going to drop here because he gets taken. I'm not going to drop there. Can move here, I'm not sure, you know. Maybe I don't know, can't see it still. We do still attack the bishop, king's queen, sorry. There might be one of them that just keeps taking stuff and takes stuff, and what we can't take with that, we'd have to take with the oh, interesting times. So, what were we going to do? We just take the rook off the board, weren't we? Don't really want to overthink that. That would be nice again. It's always nice that position, isn't it? So if we bring the queen here with a check, but he can always drop his pawn, that's the annoying bit. But the rook is defending as well, so we'll be able to take it. So he does move. Now we're x raying through to the rook. And we're attacking the knight as well. Does go for it. Bishop still goes for this rather than the knight going for the x-ray they're looking for a golden shot please don't let them have a golden shot so we can take but then he's going to come down and he's got a check on us didn't see that Ugh. Didn't see that. That's the golden shot, isn't it? Because the king is not supporting here. The knight's not supporting. Nothing supporting. So we might as well take the knight and support the bishop. And then maybe come back down and support the rook or something or the other. Oh, it's getting worse getting worse the heat is on let's push this pawn here We're finding the gold in the dying seconds of the position on the board what do we do i think i'll take with the queen won't i I think I'll take with the queen. The so queen is actually attacking the rook and it'll be mate if he does a dance. Imagine he could do a dance here. Yeah, it's probably going to do a dance there. Damn. Or there. So up a minor piece, but it's not clear. We could still keep attacking the queen, but it weakening anything. Attacking the queen, he comes dancing. He can come anywhere down here and all sorts, but... Mm -mm -mm. So if we came like this, try and get the rook up here, try and face that, but then he just defends does he come round the back somehow and get like a repet of some sort mm -hmm. right no the knight's going nowhere do we right Might just have to push the pawn. What do we think about them? Oh, his rook's... No, but his rook's not going to come. If his rook comes there, we can take it off the board. Just push the pawn. And push it again. 
just to give them something to think about because um wanting to make space for his king or dark square or here the rook is down check Okay. Oh, fantastic. Lovely. That's the end of the closer session. So the three sections we were working on were the purposes of the pieces and reducing the blunders. And then can you close the game? Basically utilizing those mini little concepts within the answer to chess process calculation. Yeah. Lovely session. Excellent. Catch you soon.